them. They hanging us right now. Right now. Right now in two in, 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 in May 2016, damn near once a week, you hearing about some nigga getting hung down south somewhere. And they talking about it's a suicide. Right? Keep going. <laughs> he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword, right? There is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now we are the saints according to the scripture. Uh, Zachariah. Zachariah. Zachariah, yeah. So nuclear warfare is in the Bible. Check it out. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. All the people that fought against us. Don't be deceived because John, Donald Trump said the capital of Israel is Jerusalem. They're not talking about that because those people are not the real Jews. Come. Those people are called Israelis or Jewish. Come. The Bible is not about Israelis and the Bible is not about Jewish people. You can't find the word Jewish in the Old Testament. You can't find the word Israeli in the Old Testament. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Israelites are black people according to scripture. That's right. And the whole world knows it now. That's why everybody can't stand the Jewish people because they took our identity. Not only that, they robbed everybody. That's right. You understand? So the party's over. That's right. People want to go on TV and have these commercials, oh, feel sorry for Israel, they're all ally. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? The, the Arab, the Arab-Israeli conflict has nothing to do with the Jesus white man conflict. That's the real conflict, because Christ is coming back to put these, to destroy these devils. Keep going. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their flesh shall consume when they stand on their feet. We're talking about nuclear right. bombs. Keep going. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, mm -hmm. and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Judgment. That means you're going to melt. Basically, you set the floor. you're going to melt. Terminated to judgment. Exactly. What you got? Book of uh, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Come on. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Just because ain't no, there hasn't been any consequences yet, don't mean there won't be. Keep going. For whatsoever a man soweth, uh -huh. that shall he also reap. The white man has sold slavery all and robbery all across the planet. Matter of fact, give me uh, Obadiah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, John Tennyson, that's good. Give me Obadiah 1 and uh, 1 and 2. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And just because he says, no, I'm not, doesn't mean it's not true. If you look at the, you, uh, if you look at the history of the so-called white man, the so-called European, it's nothing but death. Everywhere he go, he went from Europe to Africa, colonized Africa, right? When everywhere he went, uh, Africa, Asia, North, he, he, he killed. That's all he does. Because that's his blessing, according to Esau's blessing. Right? That's his blessing. We'll get there later. Obadiah 1 and 2. Book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 2. Go ahead. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. The white man is small among the heathen because the population of uh, white folks is, well, if you look out through the whole world, the different nationalities on the planet, the white man is really a minority. He said it's, it's small among the heathen. All right, keep going. Verse three, the pride of thine heart had deceived thee. The pride of the white man's heart, he swears, as a matter of fact, uh, give me, somebody give me uh, Psalm 49 and uh, 11. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. Just like the most, just like Pharaoh thought he was the shit back in the day. Nobody can do it. I got the best military. I got this. Same thing with the white man right now. I got nuclear weapons. I got satellites. I got this. And I got that. You, you can't do nothing when God comes back. Was he going to beat Christ? I don't think so. Right? Keep going. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. The white man is the original caveman. Right? This is real talk. You know what I'm saying? And he... Yeah, sorry. 
The white man swears he can't be taken out. That's the pride. It said the pride of thy heart, meaning he thinks he's in. Look at Trump. If you look at all, uh, uh, we're gonna make North Korea disarm. How is the only country that actually used nuclear weapons got the goddamn audacity to tell other people they can't have nuclear weapons? Where they do that at? That's right. You know what I'm saying? The white man is the hypocrite of the Bible. As a matter of fact, 4911, right? Read it out. Psalms 4911. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Right, that's it right there. They think they just gonna go on ruling people and subjugating people and robbing people like it's all good. See, the Bible talk, not only does the Bible talk about how we get down, it talks about how they get down too. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The most high got these white folks number. And half the time, I'm impressed that he's still standing there. Because most of them, when you tell them about they sell, they walk away like the other guy did. Uh, finish it up. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. What you say? I'm sorry, read it one more time from the top. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Meaning, he don't think he could be taken out. Go ahead. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. Now, wherever they go, they change the name of the land that they conquered to their own names. This country wasn't called America until America's Vespucci, a, a, a map maker, that's, why, that's how they got his name. Africa was named after Leonardo Af Africanus. Leo Scipio Africanus. Yes. Right. The Roman so, general. Right. He right. defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic War. What he said. So wherever they go, they make up their own names like they just run shit. Like Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Columbia. It's named after Christopher Columbus. The only reason they didn't name America after him because the queen got mad. Now, do you know that the story they tell you in school was a complete lie. They say that Columbus was looking for a new world and looking for spices and this and that. That's a lie. Columbus was looking for the Israelites. Because the Israelites already came here, the Northern Kingdom. Somebody give me uh, Second Ezra uh, 13, there you go. The Northern Kingdom, so-called Latino America, uh, North, Central, and South American, or the Native American Indians, are also God's chosen people. And Columbus came looking for them specifically. He had Hebrew interpreters on his ships because he couldn't speak Hebrew. So when he came to like Puerto Rico, he already had the Hebrew interpreters to speak to them. And basically he slaughtered them, basically. So they slaughtered the Puerto Rico, the Taino Indian, and took the gold and took a lot of them back Spain as slaves. A lot of the Native American people talk about how us black people were slaves. When Columbus and them and Cortez came to America, they took the Indians back to Spain as slaves. But you don't really learn about this in school, which shows you how much of a goddamn lie the white man is. That's right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which are carried away prisoners. The ten tribes that were carried away prisoners. Remember, there's the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom. We're talking about the northern kingdom now. Go ahead. Out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Whom Solomon Nessa, the king of Assyria. The king of Assyria. Go ahead. Led away captive. Go ahead. And he carried them over the waters. Go ahead. And so they came into another land. Right. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. Stop. So they wanted to leave the heathen alone. They wanted to get away from the heathen so they can worship God in their own little private place. Go ahead. And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might keep their statutes where they never kept in their own land. And they entered in Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Keep going. For the most high then showed signs for them and held still the flood that they were passed over. Keep going. 
but through that punch, there was a great way to go. He gave me of a year and a half. So it took a year and a half. Stop. So it said it went down the Euphrates. If you look geographically, Assyria is basically Syria today, right? So if you leave Syria and go down through the Euphrates River, which is Iraq, you go down through the Euphrates to the Indian Ocean, and you go around the bottom of Africa, and you end up in North, Central, and South America. That's who the original people of the Americas was, us, the Israelites. So if, you look, if you look at pictures, like for example, the Albany, uh what's the head in Mexico? The Almanac. Almanac. Black. Black. So to sit here and say Columbus discovered, what did you discover? You were, people was here before. We was here. Go ahead, finish up. And the same region is called Arsara. Azuris was the name of the Western Hemisphere. Keep going. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. And now, when they shall begin to come, the highest shall stay the springs of the stream again, that they may go through. Therefore, source thou the multitude with peace. Right, that's, that's, that's not. The point is, drop that. The point is, the, the Israelites left. Assyria and came to North, North, North Central and South America, right? Manasseh, Simeon, Ephraim, Asher, Zebulun, Gad, Natali, Reuben, Issachar were the tribes that were already here. Benjamin, the northern kingdom of Levi, Judah, right? You got Benjamin over here? Uh -uh, right? The north, the southern kingdom came as slaves on the trade on um, on um, the transatlantic slave trade. You know what I'm saying. So the main thing, people, is to understand that we are the direct descendants of the people in the Bible, not them little rap bastards that control Israel. Right. They stole it the same way white folks stole this country by murder. It's the same exact thing they did in Israel. They shooting them little Palestinians down like dogs in the street. You know what I'm saying? They bombing, not that I particularly care, but it's not the Palestinians 